Contact tracing is part of Governor Abbott's plan to reopen Texas. It's a critical element to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. 12 News investigator Lauren Hensley is with us live tonight looking into how this works. Lauren, what'd you find out? Yeah, Jordan, when a patient tests positive for the virus, a team of people work to figure out who that person has come in contact with and the timeline as to when they've come in contact with those people. It's an intensive effort. You can call them a core of coronavirus trackers leading the investigation. In order to contain the spread of the infectious disease, the trackers first identify positive cases and isolate those patients. They then determine who those patients have come in close contact with. And those people are asked to get tested and also self-isolate. Now in Southeast Texas, Beaumont has four contact tracers. Port Arthur has between eight and 10 on any given day. Orange County and Hort Hardin County, they, sh they share four and Jasper has one. They're looking to identify those who have come in close contact with a positive coronavirus patient versus a casual contact in a store um, doesn't pose a high risk uh, but if somebody has said i spent considerable amount uh, in cvs standing in a line with a bunch of people coughing and sneezing uh, then that is something that we will certainly uh, follow up in beaumont one of the most concerning things contact tracers have heard some people going to work with a fever a reminder that if you're sick please stay at home. Now, Texas has also developed a self-check app. It asks you a series of questions and um, tries to figure out who you may have come in contact with if there's a potential risk. We'll have that link on our website, 12newsnow.com. Lauren Hensley, 12 News.